Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally doing a Q&A video. I've been putting this off for so long. There were a lot of different questions and a lot of great questions, so I'm so excited to answer them for you guys today. Yes, please! Exclamation point. Dean just asked if I wanted him to pick up dinner. Yes, yes I do. Before I get started, I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine and talk to you guys about Bright Cellars. I love wine. I know nothing about wine. I know that I like Cabernet. I like blends and that's about all I know. So that's why I was excited to try Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine subscription. They ask you seven questions and then they match you with wines based on your tastes. The quiz uses an algorithm that analyzes your taste profile to then match you with wines that you are guaranteed to like. And their delight guarantee means if you don't love a bottle, in your current box, they will ship you a replacement in your next box. I love that they have these wine education cards. It talks about tasting notes, pairings. You're really able to learn about each bottle of wine in your box. I love Sauvignon Blanc. So the Silverscape has notes of grapefruit, lemon, nectarine, white pepper, which is interesting, unless that's pretty common. It's best paired with fried calamari with lemon, brown butter gnocchi, the Obscura. I am so excited about this one. I am intrigued by Syrah. I always like it when I have it, but I just never venture towards it. This one has notes of blackberry plum. It's best paired with black bean soup, chicken and mole sauce. And the best news, Bright Cellars is giving you 50% off of your first six bottle box. Just click the link down below, get your quiz started, and you will get some wines shipped directly to your home. I kind of want white. I think I'm going to do the Sauvignon Blanc. This is what I'm going with tonight. All right, I have my wine. I have the questions. So many people ask me if Dean and I are going to get married. I hope so. We talk about our future together, but he just texted me. He lost his wallet. He just found it, but his debit card's missing. I know where his debit card is. Anyways, okay, that's not a question. Where are all your faux plants from? They are all from Pure Salt. The interior designers that I worked with, all of them are from their site. He was like, I found my wallet, but I lost my debit card. And I was like, Dean, it was sitting on top of your backpack in the house, and I guarantee he just picked his backpack up and left. Oh, my sweet boy. Future wedding, future wedding, are you and Dean getting married? I mean, we're taking it day by day. We are in no rush to get married. We have been dating a year. Ideally, like I would like to get married sometime in the future, but I'm in no rush. Can you talk about your Native American heritage? Yes, I can. That's something I get asked all the time is, what is my ethnicity? I have not done the 23andMe, but all I know that I am is Native American. I think I'm like a 16th, but it's the only thing that I know. My great great grandpa was the chief of our tribe and the tribe name is Little Traverse Bay Band of Ottawa Indians. My Native American name is Dancing Star. My grandma lived on the reservation for years. She's helped us learn a lot more about our background. I remember in elementary school she would always come when we were talking about Native Americans. She would always come in and teach the class so that was always really fun. I love that I can say that I'm Native American because Native Americans are very strong people and they've gone through so much and endured so much. So I am proud, very proud to be Native American. Next question. How has Dean impacted slash changed your life? Dean has impacted and changed my life in so many ways, every single one for the better. He is always helping me to grow and change and he's always encouraging me and always supporting me and whatever I do, he's so supportive and so kind, but he pushes me and he pushes me to the point where I get so frustrated with him. I will either get angry or cry because I do cry in scary situations like if heights are involved. He's really helped me embrace like being natural and embracing the quirks about myself. He's made me so much more chill and mellow, more loving, calm, patient, I just feel like I was this uptight, wound up ball, and I cared about what every single person thought of me. Even though you'll never please everyone, the people who hate me are always gonna hate me. Their opinion is never gonna change. And he's just made me like relax and realize if I'm happy with myself, if I'm happy in my life, none of that matters, none of that noise. And I love that he pushes me and challenges me, and every time I get mad at him for like doing a scary hike or rock climb or almost jumping out of an airplane, I look back and I'm like, that was the best experience of my life. I'm realizing I need to be pushed. I need to be stretched. I 
want to be doing all of these things, but I need someone to kind of just get me there sometimes. So he has made me such a better person in so many ways, and I am so thankful for him. If you turned into your partner for a day, Dini, what would you do? Well, <laughs> I would be fearless, so I would do all the things that I'm scared of. I would go skydiving, I would go bungee jumping, I would go fly an airplane, has an airplane flying over me. I would do everything that I'm scared of now, I would do, because Dean has no fears. Can we officially say that you and Dean live together? We, we do and we don't. I mean, it's my apartment, technically, like only my name is on the lease, but he is staying here because of COVID. You guys are only seeing us together in this apartment. We moved right when COVID hit. We, I, whatever. But he would always be here. He would just be here less if COVID wasn't a thing, so no. I'm gonna say no to that. Someone asked me, do you only hang out with Dean? No, we do hang out a lot. We spend a lot of time together, but I don't post everything about my life. I have friends that are much more private than me and I don't wanna make them feel uncomfortable by taking a photo of them, posting a story of them, recording, having my camera in front of their face. So there are a lot of things that I do that people don't see. How do you stay so lean and fit? Working out was never something I enjoyed. I was never like super active as a kid. I did track, I did cheerleading. I hated both. I tried everything. I tried swimming, soccer, field hockey, tennis. I don't know what it was, but in high school that it just wasn't my thing. Maybe like two years ago, I started going to hot yoga and hot Pilates and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. And I finally found something that I loved and I was doing that consistently. And then COVID hit. I tried to work out in the apartment and I be great and consistent for one week straight. I would work out every single day and then I just wouldn't work out for a week to two weeks and then it would be the same thing. And then we found tennis and I have been loving tennis so much. It's such a great workout. And that's all I've been doing lately. I do need to be doing more, I know, but I've noticed that like I've gotten more tone and definition from tennis. All right, Dean came home and distracted me and now the sun is setting and I need to finish this video. I've been trying to transition to being vegan. I've cut out dairy, I've cut out meat, but fish has been so hard for me to cut out. I'm doing the same thing that I did with meat. Once a week I would allow myself to eat meat and I've been doing that with fish, but I just, I can't let it go yet. So I'm not fully vegan. I've had a lot of questions about it. It's taking longer than I thought it would. My biggest pet peeve is when people chew with their mouth open and I fully have misophonia where it just triggers like a rage inside of you. I wish this wasn't the case for me, but I've been like this since I was a kid. I even talked to my therapist about it and she's like, let's go back to the day where this started. And I'm like, I don't know, I think I've always been this way. What is your everyday favorite snack and drink? Chips and salsa, for sure. I love chips and salsa. Favorite drink, I love Celsius. And then obviously I have my soda stream. I love, love sparkling water. Camera's still on, so maybe I can answer another question. Future, do you plan on having kids? If so, how many? I would like to have two kids and I would also like to adopt. But we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. Favorite place that you have traveled and why Japan is the most beautiful place with the most kind and welcoming people. The food's great, the architecture is amazing. Also, Guatemala was incredible. Being able to hike a volcano, the food, the coffee, again, the people, and Lake Adelon was amazing. So those two, Japan and Guatemala. How do you keep your skin so clear? I have a skincare video, you can watch that. I go through everything. Someone asked for non-sponsored skincare content. None of that was sponsored. I wash my face every night, every morning. I started using retinol maybe like two months ago. I love it. I wear sunscreen on my face every day. I definitely wash my face, especially after I sweat, after I work out, well, I'll wash my face again and put on a serum and SPF. Are you happy? I get so many questions asking me if I'm happy. Yes, I can honestly say this is the happiest I have ever been in my entire life. And I just feel like I'm learning so much about myself. I'm confident in who I am as a person. I like myself so much more as a person. I've grown so much. I'm in a very loving relationship. And I have great friends and family around me. So yes, I'm very happy and thank you for asking. And I've got a wonderful, amazing dog. So last night I was talking too much and Dean came home, I got distracted. The sun was going down, my camera died. It was a perfect storm. So I played some tennis earlier today. I have my wine and I'm ready to finish this video and answer some more questions. So let's get into it. Let's start with the ones that I knew we were going to be asked. Do you have veneers? How much lip filler do you have? Okay, 
People think that I'm very closed off about this topic and I am not. I am an open book. If you want to know about what work I've had done, I am completely open and honest because I have nothing to be ashamed of. Why hide it? There's this troll account that pops up every now and again and they will post photos of me from when I was 15 to now. Here's a photo of me from when I was 15. Crazy, right? A decade in between the two, of course I'm going to look different. Okay, that was my goofy 15 year old self and now I am a 25 year old woman and yes, I look different, but also I've done a couple of things to my face, but that's not something to be embarrassed or ashamed of. Also, when I was 15 or 14, I did what most young girls do, and I went in the mirror, I was unhappy with my eyebrows, and I started plucking, and I remember I looked up, and my eyebrows started in the middle of my pupil, and I was like, oh no, what have I done? And I just let them grow out and it took some time. Before I start, I just want to say I'm not encouraging anyone to get work done, especially young girls. I don't think anyone needs it. In that same sense, I don't want to encourage it, but I also don't want to shame people who do get things done. There should be no embarrassment, no shame, no need to hide. I just wanted to get both of those thoughts out there. A couple months after I won Miss North Carolina USA, I went to Azora Skincare and I tried lip injections for the first time in my life. And then right before The Bachelor, I did Botox for the first time. I'm not embarrassed of that. I got a little Botox and I got a little lip filler. I could see myself like wanting more and I was talking to Dean about it a year ago, right after we started dating and I told him I was gonna go get more and we had multiple conversations about this but essentially he kept telling me, you don't need this and finally it sunk in, I don't need this. <laughs> He's right, I do not need this and I haven't gotten anything done since then so that was like a year ago. And teeth, yes I have a couple veneers. I always thought I had good teeth, I never had braces. I'll show you, here's a photo of my teeth before. They just looked a little young, there were like little gaps in my teeth. I started using Crest White Strips in high school and I was using them too often and the enamel just got worn down and the bottoms became a little translucent. And then I went to Charlotte Center for Cosmetic Dentistry. This was right before Miss USA and I talked to Dr. Broom. He did my teeth, I got a couple veneers. And here I am today. So that's it. That's all the work I've gotten done. I haven't touched my face since in about a year. And I don't think I'll ever get lip injections again. Honestly, it caused me so much anxiety. I couldn't sleep the night before I knew I was getting it. I almost passed out. Oh my gosh. Because I was so nervous. I hate needles. I get anxiety. And the woman injected me. And I thought I was allergic. Because suddenly I couldn't see anything. My vision suddenly. Oh, I saw black spots. And then it all went black. And I was like, I, uh, I think you should stop. And I just, I was frozen. And I was like, I'm having an allergic reaction. I cannot believe I'm allergic to lip injections. And I was just so nervous that I tensed up my whole body. I didn't eat before because I was so nervous. I'm hypoglycemic, so I need to eat. It was just not great. And needless to say, I don't miss getting lip injections at all. Religion, I am a Christian. Ooh, what's your favorite quality of Dean's? I love this question. He has the biggest heart, the kindest heart. He has a way of making everyone around him feel so special. And it's such a cool trait, and especially to watch. He's just a great human. What's the biggest assumption about yourself or your relationship that you'd like to clear up? Ooh, okay, both. I guess first, me. People think that I'm mean because I'm quiet and I'm still shy, I'm still overcoming that shyness, but like I'm more introverted and because I'm quiet and I'm, I'm such an observer, I love to like sit back and watch and I just, I take in information in that way. I'm not judging, I'm just observing and people perceive that as being mean, being judgy. The biggest assumption about my relationship, I don't love when I post in the vlogs with Dean in them and in the comments um, people criticize him and say he seems like he's an I don't know whatever it just it really irks me when people say hurtful things about Dean I get very defensive because he is the most loving human being ever but we both get weird on camera and we both like to keep parts of our relationship private he is so good to me I want you guys to see that and I feel like you guys have seen that but at the same time you see one moment where we're both weird at receiving gifts and he doesn't seem appreciative to a viewer and they suddenly think that he's a terrible boyfriend. No. He is the best boyfriend ever. Truly. I learned so much from him being such a good partner so I just want to clear that up. What's your relationship with your parents and siblings like? I have the most amazing parents ever. My mom is incredible. She's such a loving, selfless human being. I don't know how she does it. My stepdad is amazing as well. He has been my dad since I was like four or five. 
So he's been my dad my whole life, basically. And my siblings, there were five of us all growing up together. My stepbrother Josh is the same age as me, my sister Ariana, my two younger siblings, Bella and Hayden. We all grew up in the same house. It was a fun household. Christmases are so much fun. My baby siblings, I'm so protective over them. Even though Hayden is 19 and Bella 16 somehow. We have a great relationship, very goofy, very playful, very like pick on each other relationship. What video camera or camera do you use? I currently have the Nikon Z50 and I love it. It's a great, great camera. Ooh, favorite state I've traveled to. Hawaii and Oregon. Oregon was amazing. It was so beautiful. What's the weirdest dream you've remembered? Oh my gosh, I used to have this recurring dream since I was about eight years old, seven years old, that my mom and my stepdad were in a taxi cab in front of me. I was in a taxi cab by myself, falling behind. There was a creepy driver, and it was just me in the cab. The taxi cab driver ended up throwing me out of the cab, like physically throwing me out, and then they all drove off, which is such a weird dream. And we can we can analyze it. I'm sure that has a deeper meaning. Yeah, I, I had that up until I was probably 18. Are you more of a cat person or dog person? I mean, come on. Can you even ask me that question? Did you go to college? If so, what major? I did. I went to VCU and I majored in broadcast journalism. And right before I graduated, I realized that is not what I wanted to do in my life. I tried to get through as many as I could, but thank you so much for submitting those questions. I had so much fun going through and answering them. I'll see you guys next week with a new video.